channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you my quick 10 minute makeup looks. It's perfect for those people who don't have so much time to get ready in the morning, either for work or you're meeting somebody else or you're on your way to school. I feel like this is such an easy look to accomplish, but it also kind of brightens your face, adds a little bit of color and makes you look a little bit more put together. I love a full face makeup. You guys all know that, but I know not everybody has that much time to dedicate to getting ready. So I thought I would show you what I do when I like to look put together, I like to look presentable, but I only got a quick 10 minutes before I got to be out the door. Like I said, this look is super easy to accomplish. Any level of makeup skill can do this look. I will link every single product that I use down below. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys learned something. Before you head out, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. I'm gonna stop talking and I will let you guys get to the tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Hey guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tackle these brows. I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Brow Wax and I'm just gonna run it through my brows and then comb them through with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, spoolie that comes on their Brow Wiz. So I'm not gonna fill in my brows too much. I'm gonna use the Brow Wiz just to carve out the lower part of my eyebrow and then fill in any sparse areas that I have at the top. Maybe darken the tail just a little bit, but I'm not gonna dedicate too much time to this and I'm not gonna focus too much time I'm making them perfect. This is just going to carve them out, really define them and tame them just a little bit more so that this look looks more put together because it is a natural look so I don't want to have like really heavy brows going on. All right, so now I'm gonna take this highlighter from Milani and I'm just gonna run it underneath my brows. I don't want them to be too heavy, but I also do want them to be a little bit carved out. So I'm just gonna run it along there to define them. And then I'm gonna go over my brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is just gonna help keep them in place and make sure that they stay nice and defined all day. Then I'm gonna take the Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm just blending out that highlighter that we ran underneath our brows. Next I'm going to go in with the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. This is a moisturizer and it does have SPF 30 in it. I've really been loving it for those really hot days and these days in the summer. You always need to protect your skin and you always need to moisturize your skin so your makeup goes on smoother. I'm going to go in with this Cover FX Blurring Primer. I've really been loving this primer. It just seeps into the skin so nicely, smooths out any texture that you may have and fills in your pores. I'm going to go in with the Herborean CC Cream Radiance. I've been loving this CC Cream. Normally I'm all full coverage or no coverage at all, but this makes it really easy to cover any imperfections that you have in your face. It just really smooths out your whole complexion. It gives a little bit of a radiant looking glow to the skin and it's so lightweight. So it honestly feels like you're not wearing anything at all. I've been absolutely loving this sort of CC cream and I'm just applying that with a Sigma flat top kabuki all over my face. So I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm using the shade uh, 20 Light, and I'm going to use this to conceal my under eyes, highlight my cupid's bow and chin. I'm also taking a Sigma brush. This is the F86 Concealer Brush. And then a great time-saving tip is to use that same concealer to set and to kind of conceal your little eye baggies that you may have on your eyelids. So I'm just going to run that on my eyelids and blend everything nice and out to have a nice base. I'm going to go in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder and then again I'm going to use that to set both my eyelid and the concealer that I just put on underneath my eye. Next I'm going to go in with the Tarte Pro Glow uh, Contour To Go. I'm going to take a Morphe E27 brush and I'm just going to define the crease a little bit using that bronzer shade. I'm going to go in with the Dallas Blush by Benefit and I'm going to use that same brush and then do the exact same thing. Just use it to really define the crease and add a little bit of depth. Taking my finger, I'm going to take the highlighter from the Contour To Go uh, palette from Tarte and I'm going to use that as eyeshadow. I always need to have eyeliner. Whatever look I'm doing, I just really like eyeliner and how it defines my eye. So I'm going to use this eyeliner that I got when I was in Mexico from the brand Olay. And then I'm going to go in with the Velvet Noir Mascara by Marc Jacobs and just coat my lashes with a couple coats of this. 
Next, I'm gonna go into that bronzer shade from the Tartiste palette. Another time-saving tip is to use the exact same powder products for eyeshadow or for bronzer or for blush. It just saves so much time since you're not spending time looking for other products in your makeup drawer. So I'm gonna contour my face and uh, contour my forehead and then of course bronze a little bit on my chin. I'm gonna take the Milani Runway Lashes and then I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes and coat a little bit of my top lashes as well just to really extend and fan out those lashes that we have since we're not gonna go in with any falsies. Of course, I'm gonna take that Dallas blush that I use for my eyeshadow and I'm gonna take a Sigma F05 brush and I'm just going to add this to the apples of my cheeks to add a little bit of warmth and a little bit of color to this look. To highlight, I'm going to take the Mary Luminizer from the Balm Cosmetics. I'm going to take that on a Sigma highlighter brush, and I'm just going to hit the highlighted points. Because this look is a little bit more natural, I'm not going to go too crazy with the highlighter, but this is a highlighter that you can definitely keep natural, or you can go really, really ham if you really wanted to. And then I'm also going to use that to hit the inner tear ducts just to brighten up the look and the eyes a little bit more. I'm going to take this Thousand Kisses Lip Liner from Rimmel London. I think this is in the shade Spice. I'm going to line my lips, overline them just a little bit, and then I'm also going to contour the outer parts of my lips and then in the center just to add a little bit more definition. For lipstick, I'm going to go in with this uh, Makeup Revolution Renaissance Lipstick. This is in the shade Prime, and it's just a really nice pinky nude uh, lipstick and it's in a satin finish so it moisturizes your lips and it just feels so nice and lightweight. To seal everything off I'm gonna go in with the Morphe setting spray and if you guys haven't guessed it that's it. This is the final look. It's super easy to accomplish, very very not time consuming at all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys recreate this look don't forget to tag me and I will see you in the next video.